Hello everyone. Several months ago, Facebook unveiled its new care emoji. Along with the like and love icons and the laughing, sad, and angry emojis, you can now post a care emoji to let people know that you care about what they have to say. But often it just doesn't seem as if the care emoji is reflective of reality. Of course, none of us are mind readers. I know I'm certainly not. And none of us can look on someone else's heart as God can look on someone else's heart. But nonetheless, we see an odd and unexplainable usage of the care emoji it, just about every day, according to how much time you spend on social media. I'll give an example. Suppose there are people in your life whom you love and you care about, and you all belong to the same local church congregation. As time passes by, it's not difficult for you to notice that they have not attended any church services lately. They've just not been coming to church. So normally, it might have been better for you to make a phone call or to drop in for a quick visit, but it's 2020 and you're trying to respect people's COVID precautions, so you send a message or make a comment on Facebook and you say something along the lines of, hey, we've been missing you at church and we just want to know if you're okay. Is something wrong? Is there something that we could do? Do you need anything? And rather than an appropriate and meaningful reply from someone who understands the value of accountability in the Christian life, they just simply respond by dropping a care emoji. No elaboration, no details on what might be the problem, no desire to be accountable, nothing but a care emoji. So why would there be no meaningful response to your loving and caring inquiry? Well, it could be uh, because of their lack of intentions. They haven't had any intentions of coming to church. They have had no intentions of giving Jesus Christ a second thought. They've had no intentions of detaching from this world. And it's much easier to just drop a care emoji than it is to actually be accountable within this Christian life. We've all heard that old expression, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. And I understand where that expression is coming from. But it's not entirely true because lots of folks are headed for hell today without any good intentions. Now, of course, I'm not trying to say that a person is lost just because they use a care emoji. That's ridiculous. I've used them myself. I won't hesitate to do it again, nor should you. We all know that care emojis don't send people to hell. People go to hell because of sin. But the Bible does command us to examine ourselves. Are we just drifting through this life trying to mask spiritual realities that need to be exposed in the light of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ? Do we have a desire to be accountable to other believers within the context of the local church because we're born again and because we love the Lord? Proverbs 27 and 17 says, Iron sharpeneth iron, so a man sharpeneth the countenance of his friend. Christians are to stir, uh, stir one another to love and to good works. And we should seize every opportunity to do so and not to shut it down. James 5.16 says, Confess your faults one to another and pray one for another, that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. We can't do that. We can't confess our faults one to another if we can't get past the care emoji and actually open up and show some true, genuine love concern, and appreciation for each other. The truth is, if we don't have true and genuine love, concern, care, and appreciation for each other, then we don't have Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. And without Christ as Lord and Savior, all the care emojis that you could ever post will never save you. If you're saved, and you love the Lord, and you have the righteousness of Jesus Christ, you are my brother or sister in the Lord. Neither of us are perfect. You're not perfect. I'm not perfect. None of us are perfect, but we serve a perfect God. We have a perfect Savior in the Lord Jesus Christ. So let's let our lives be lived in humble submission to His commands and try to show each other some genuine care and concern and love and appreciation. If you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, repent and believe the gospel today. Turn away from the vanities of this life. Turn away from the vain 
usage of social media and look to Jesus Christ and him alone who came, born of a virgin, fully God and fully man, lived his life having never sinned. He died on the old rugged cross and was buried. He rose again on the third day with victory and power, and he's coming back, and may we be found ready to meet him. God bless you all.